coming coming to LR was you know really sort of accidental um, the way I got here. I I was I was supposed to go to Canada on a recruiting trip when I was at University of North Carolina. My passport had expired. My family was coming up to Lake James, and I knew LR was thinking about starting men's lacrosse. So I stopped by campus. I walked into Shuford Gym. I was just walking around and literally bumped into Neil McGay. He was the athletic director at the time who asked me what I was doing. I told him I was an assistant at UNC. I heard they were starting men's lacrosse and he brought me in, my, he brought me in his office and we spoke for three hours that day. And it was from those conversations that I really started to form the idea of starting a program here and building something special. I remember coming on my visit, um, really, I drove up Saturday morning after a football game Friday, and uh, I remember getting out of the car at you know 8 a.m. we were going to practice with the team, and I remember just kind of having a feeling, um, you know, turning to my parents saying, you know, this something about this school just feels right, um, and then just staying overnight uh, with, with with all those freshmen, um, you could just tell it was it was a good group um, who really got to know each other, um, who who already kind of seemed to really care about each other. One of the biggest challenges was I was hired as the director of men's and women's lacrosse. So not only did I have to recruit an entire men's team, I had to recruit an entire women's team. And that first year really for the, for the men's program, all I wanted to do was get kids who, were gonna, who wanted to compete and wanted to start something special. That's what I was looking for. I think, you know, just kind of the belief, um, you know, that those guys had in, in Coach Paradine and, um, you know, even from, you know, a couple of weeks into school, um, you know, just, just kind of believing that, that they could be, you know, a really strong program uh, in Division Two. It, it was a challenging first year. I mean, we had 30 freshmen, and I told the guys that we recruited, we wanted to make sure we were the, the best team on the campus. Um, and having 30 freshmen, I knew they were going to make some mistakes. And I think one of the, where I grew was, A, I had to come down hard on those guys when they made mistakes. Two, I had to make sure that the guys trusted me um, so that I could, I could coach them hard. You know, and I think that was part of building relationships. And the one thing I was very intentional about was making sure that our guys didn't worry about scores. You know, all I wanted them to do was play as hard as they possibly could play and compete the entire game. And tell them there's, there's no pressure, like there's nothing, there's no expectation other than that we're going to compete. You know, and that, that was all I wanted to do that entire, entire first year. And we almost won that first game. I think we, we hit a crossbar late in the game to tie it and we lost, I think, 13-12 to Belmont Abbey. The, the program was uh, it really kind of in the beginning stages. We were kind of just, you know, trying to build and, and compete at, at, at really every level. Um, you know, there was a solidified group of guys in, in the locker room that, that kind of took me in with, with open arms. They kind of set the expectation um, of this is how we're going to this is how we're going to go about every single day. And my class and, and the people to follow are, were, were consistently trying to trying to match them and, and, and live up to that standard. I just kind of tried to, to be a sponge as a player and, and listen to everything the coaching staff was telling us. Junior year, you know, the fourth year of the program, we won the conference championship, um, which was, was something special that, that a group of guys, um, you know, we played together for three years, which is really unique. And so that was a, a really cool experience. Um, and then, you know, my senior year, uh, you know, being a team captain, that was something, um, you know, that was a huge honor for me. I wanted to, to be a leader on this group of, of brothers. And, um, you know, I, I had a lot of success um, on the field, but, uh, you know, just kind of the, the brotherhood um, I built as a player is, is kind of what I'll remember the most. The guys started to believe if we competed and we did the little things that, you know, we, we could in the future really do great things.